Welcome to Charm Card, my friends, and let's open up the amazing, brand spanking new, ultra premium collection, Charizard Edition. Now, this is the thing that everyone has been after, and it has been very hard to pre-order, but Pokemon have done a good job this time because there are going to be so many print runs of this. I hope that everyone gets hold of one of these. So good luck to you lot out there that gets one. But we're going to open this up today in this video and we're going to have some fun. So what is this box? Well, in this box, you can see you get all of this almighty glory. And as you can see, it is a stunning looking piece of artwork because everyone is after the three little alternative Zards. So we've got a uh, sleeping Zard, a, uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna call him a uh, Godzilla Zard, and we've got a uh, over the top busy Charizard fighting Mewtwo, I believe. But this is a good set. If you're into the Pokemon Sword and Shield range, this is the one for you. So let's open straight into this. Well, actually, first of all, let's put the price on the screen. So I'm gonna put it over here, and hopefully the price is there for everyone in their country. If I've left your country out, just leave it in the comment and I'll uh, see if I can add your country to it. But there we go. So let's open this up and let's see how absolutely amazing this is. Like I said, this, this isn't going to be an easy one to get hold of yet. But just wait. Don't go on eBay and pay all those scalper prices. There's so many expensive... People are wanting... I mean, in the UK, this is RRP uh, £120. Best way of doing it. £119.99 if you really want to get political. But... I've seen it need £240. Do not pay those prices, people. Please do not pay this, because the, the Pokemon are going to print these to literally the end of existence. They will do. So let's look at the sleeves. There's a Sword and Shield sleeve. As you can see, it's telling you about all your information. Celebrate the Sword and Shield series with Charizard. So there you go. There's all your bits and pieces. And like I said, it is an amazing looking set. So there's the barcode if you guys want to give it a good old scan. So, if you haven't had a UPC or Ultra Premium Collection, these are a statement. As you can see, it's amazing colour. I love the gradient effect they got going on here. Pokemon trading card game. What's on the other side? Pokemon. Now, Pokemon, if you do listen to me at any time, which I probably don't think you do, I'm too small, I would love to see a Blastoise version of this and a Venusaur version, because Venusaur always gets forget them. forgotten. Sorry, my fault. So, let's open this up so it's magnetised. As you can see, Looks stunning with a lovely VMAX Charizard. You can see that outlined. Like I said, this is a statement piece, people, because look, you can see it opens up absolutely amazing. It's, I mean, I, I don't think I can get someone on camera. As you see, get a lovely draw here, which we pull out. And what do we get in the first bit? We get the playmat. Oh, yes, we get a Charizard playmat. And I can hear everyone screaming down the video at the moment. Going, oh, my word, I didn't know you got one of those. Because this is something I'm so excited about. By the way, they've got Pokemon stamped uh, on the back there as well, if you think it's a legitimate or you know, original one. So it's really good. So sleeved off. Ah, let's just break it off. There we go. Here is the Zardzilla. Oh my word. That is, I don't know if I can get it all on cam. Can I get it all on cam on the other side? I do apologize. Uh, no, not really. Uh, it just looks really good, folks. It's an amazing piece of artwork, and yes, I am going to use this at my next game. Uh, I've got pre I think I've got a pre-release event coming up very soon. So that is a, that is what you get there. Uh, I'm just going to open up on that, I think, because it looks absolutely amazing. There we go. So it, as you can see, we've got these little drawers here. There we go. So we pull out the drawers, and the first one we get hold of are some lovely looking sleeves as you can see oh, oh, oh these are oh, no these are the opaque ones again folks these aren't the clear ones like the little penny sleeves i do use in my videos i use all the time buy the, these are so cheap to buy go to your lgs store they're really good to buy them from but yeah it's no paint look and it's got a mass effect as well but zardzilla looking amazing there again i would love i love it if um, pokemon could release the, these artworks for you to buy to put on the walls i would love to have a huge mural of this zardzilla on the wall so uh That'd be stunning. What we get here, we, so we get some dice, but I have some dice here that have escaped. So these are pure metal dice, pure, absolutely metal. So literally, if you want to try and clonk out one of your friends, these are the best way to do it. So you get six attempts at clonking out your friends. What else do we get in here? We get some uh, oof, lovely metal counters. These are amazing, so especially a burn and poison counters. Look absolutely stunning. Yes, they are metal as well, so that's really good. So here's a little draw, so we get a little Zard. We get nothing. We get another Zard, and we get another Zard. Just in case if you haven't had enough Zards, we got some more now. 
But whilst I carry on with this, I'm going to say, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Child Card. We open up stuff all the time and have a little bit of fun. And if you're a long-term subscriber, thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate you watching this video again. So this is a little, just in case you've had enough stars, you can have a little Pokeball and you can have a Pokemon logo. So nothing else hidden in there, no extra pieces. So we get some booster packs. So what do we get, folks? We get some free Fusion Strike. We get a Zard. Oh, yes, we do. We do get a Zardzilla. Metal coin as well with Pokemon on the back, which looks absolutely stunning. That's a lovely looking coin. We get a... Is that plastic? Yeah, we get a plastic V-Star. Throw that away. No one wants the plastic ones. We get three Evolving Skies, one Vivid Voltage, and one Darkness of Blaze. And I'm glad we got the Charizard for that. So, we haven't got any brilliant stars. No, none of the actually new ones. What do they say on the back? So, uh, yeah, free fuse. Okay, we got the first lot. There's another row. We do get brilliant stars. Excuse Chara card. I'm getting it completely wrong there. So there's the first bunch of cards. In the next draw, this is, should be the draw that everyone wants. So there we go. Lost Origin, Astral Radiance, Astral Radiance, brilliant stars, and a back to front Lost Origin again. So that looks a bit good, that doesn't it? So there is lots. Look at all these booster packs. It is absolutely raining booster packs. So we're going to open all these up in the video and we're going to see what it's like. Now. I think this is what everyone's after. Shall we have a little peek at these cards? I'm scared to open this up, actually. Hopefully I can do this without damaging the cards. I should get a pair of scissors, really, but the plastic's quite flimsy. We're good to go. So we have got a code card here to share with everyone there. Now, I am going to show this. Good luck to anyone who gets this first. Well done to you. Let us know what you get in the description in the comments, I'm afraid. Here we go, folks. There we go, so hopefully you did get the free promo cards. If so, have fun with those. Make sure you use them or trade them to get some other packs. So let's have a look at the cards one by one, because I think this is what everyone's really after. So, the first Zard we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on Sleepy Zard. So this looks like a complete different battle scene from where, um, the Brilliant Stars Charizard versus uh, Venusaur in the background. It looks like Charizard's like, yeah, mate, I'm completely done. Let's sleep. So as you can see, the quality of the card, of the artwork, is absolutely mind-blowing. I love that. I love the just the pattern of it. It's really nice. Here's the most incinerating hate heat blast, and this is Sword and Shield number 260. The back end of it. Now, what can I say about the quality of this? The quality of the corners are very blunt. So these would be picked up if you went to these off to grading because these are quite blunt. They're very, very blunt, actually. All four corners are quite poorly cut. No white in, there's no damage on there. There's no marks. I think the centering is actually really good, but it's just the blunt corners. But I'm going to keep these cards for myself anyway. I'm not going to I'm not going to grade them. I'm just going to keep holding them because I think they're just nice little cards. I'll probably put them on these little magnetic card holders. Now, this is the card that I've really, really wanted. I love this artwork. And let us know in the comment which out of these three is, has the best artwork. I'm going to, have to say Zardzilla. Look at that artwork. It's something you'd see out of a completely Godzilla movie. Absolutely rip roaring scary. Sword and Shield number 261. Wow. That is a V Max card and a half. Now, what's the cutting like and all the backing like? Uh, as you can see, it's like literally so blunt, those corners. As you can see, they're so blunt. And I hope everyone else's aren't like that. Um, to be honest, I'm not going to get this graded. I'm going to keep holding this because I, I think these are a nice little set. Centering, this side more prominent than this side. But other than that, it's not too bad. Pokemon have problems with VMAX cards getting them straight. I don't know what it is. They always have this problem. So there's the VMAX. Now, this is the one I've really been looking forward to because it's very hard to get a high definition picture online of this. It's very hard to know what's actually happening in this picture. But as you can see, it's featuring Charizard and a Mewtwo literally, literally is going to absolutely fry Charizard's butt completely there. But what else is in the picture? We've got a uh, tentacle there. A tentacle or tentacruel? No, it's not Froglock, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Magmar's, where was that in the background? I can't tell. Uh, but do you know what? There's so much going on that looks like a battle you do not want to be a part of. So that's Charizard and it's promo number 262. So that's a great looking V-Star card. What's the cutting like on this one? Oh, this one's actually not too bad, actually. This is quite good. Uh, a little bit blunt on the bottom there and there. 
other than that, it's not a bad looking card. So let's pop that over here as well with a stand. I should have got some more stands for the video, but do you know what? I do this on the wing sometimes. Let's have some fun. So there's the three cards. Let us know in the comments, which one would you go for? Number one, two or three. Personally, Sardzilla all the way. So now we've got some booster packs to open up. Ooh. Okay, let's make sure we've got everything that we've opened up. We've got a play map. We didn't get a book. Where's my book? Well, I haven't got a book. Pokemon. I have no book. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Pokemon. You hid that way, didn't you? Wow. I remember the uh, Ultra Premium, the, uh, the Celebration one's a bit like that as well. So what's in the book? So this is the Welcome to the Pokemon Card Game. So this is a nice little, probably a rundown of the Sword and Shield, which is a great bedtime read. Rebel Clash. Oh, I love it. They're going through every single... Oh, that's brilliant. Every single set. Both some of the best Zards ever. My lad managed to pull those Zards. Great. It was just great to share that, that experience. and that He was so happy with that. Oh, Shining Fates. Another great card. Everything's got Zard, 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 and more Zards. So, Chilling Rain. That's Battle Styles there. There it is. This is the first one we ever saw, the Alternative Arts, which that's still one of my favourites, that one and that one. Uh, then we go to the uh, Chilling Rain, which features one page. That's a bit... Oh, two pages. Evolving Skies, which is still the set that everybody's still after. Fusion Strike. Mm, don't touch, because that's a really hard set to do. Brilliant Stars. That's when the fun started happening again with the uh, Trainer Gallery cards and the V-Star cards, which are very, very, very good to play with. Astral Rage, which is a good set to get, which I'm still trying to complete. Lost Origins with that amazing-looking alternative art, um, Giratina. Amazing looking card, and also this was one of my chase cards. I managed to pull it very happy. So Silver Tempest it features in here as well. So as you can see, it hasn't showed you the card, so it just shows you a GR tree and all that, so it's not too bad. And it says about the Black Star promo card. So there you go. So here's some of the promo cards. They've all got, that's the one I still want and trying to get. I'm not sure they're ever gonna bring this card out again. I would love to see Bidoof come back out again, but there you go. So it's talking to you all through the different cards. That's a great read. That's worth keeping everybody. Right, booster packs. Let's open up Darkness Ablaze because it all started with Darkness Ablaze. Now, because I don't want this video going on too long, if I see a black code card and green code card, we're going to go straight into it. If we see a white and black code card, that means you're going to get a, a hollow or something better. So we've got a Dale Kitty and a reverse Simi stage. So nothing quite exciting there. Right, that was uh, Darkness Ablaze out of the way. Vivid Voltage. Now, I'm not expecting to pull anything decent out of these packs because, to be honest, I got this box for this, to be honest. So we've got a white, a white code card, so that means nothing there, so nothing special, a stadium and a Metacross, so not very good there. So that's Vivid Voltage out of the way. Let's do something a bit different with some Evolving Skies. Now this is a set that everyone is still after, still trying to get hold of. Now, white code card, nothing exciting in this one, no trainer gallery, so we've got a Smurgle. Smurgle, Smeagle, whatever you want to call him. So another Evolving Skies. So far, the poor rates have been pretty poo, actually. Here you go, so it's a white and black code card. So this, when you pull one of these folks, means you are going to guarantee a hollow or something a bit more better. So what we're gonna do for the video, we are going to do four to the front, four to the back, and we're gonna see if we can pull anything decent. Let's, let's pull a hollow or better. So here we go, a hippo, something trying to pull his trousers up, a bird that wakes you up early in the morning, weird flower, a porcupine fish, a skip bloom, and there we go, an Activish V for... Oh, it's a great card to see, isn't it? I did not expect that one. Wow. So not a bad card, actually. I'm very happy with that. Looks really good. What's the uh, uh, center and a bit too much this side? Um, the back, not too bad. Not being cut by a butter knife. So there we go. So I'm going to push these three cards just to the back like that. And anything else new, I will put them in the front. Sorry, Zards. You can't always have the focus. So, yeah, because we always want the Blastoise and we want something else. Don't we? So, one more Evolving Sky. I think a nice Venusaur card set would be quite nice. So, here's a white co card. So that means we're going to get nothing out of Evolving Sky. So, no secret alternative art. But to be honest, I'm very happy with the Zard. So, there we go. So, nothing in that set. Right, Fusion Strike. One of the hardest sets to pull something decent out of because it's got so many hollows. It's 264. Then you have secrets. I could be wrong. So, white and black co card. Let's have a go at this and see what we get here. So, some energy. We get a weird looking rabbit, someone you don't want to bump into the night. We get an ant you don't want to have in your sleeping bag. We get a weird nun. We get something as a dew pider. And then we go to Intellion V. Wow. That's a great looking card to get hold of again. It's 
great to see some of the Sword and Shield starters in these, so that's not a bad looking card. Uh, the center is, uh, center is not brilliant. We've had better in the past, but do you know what? I'm happy with that one. So there we go. So we've got something out of Fusion Strike. Hooray! God, we've got loads more to go. I hope you, uh, I hope you got a drink ready to go, because I didn't. I'm going to be thirsty after this one. Oh, I've got white and black code cards, so four to the front, four to the back, however we want to do it. And here we go, my friends. Let's see if we can get something better than a dancer, because that's what I always keep pulling on Fusion Strike. Full art dancer. And there we go, the Deoxys. Very good to see, which, to be honest, I actually have to do a video, because I have got this in the background. So I will do this in the next video. So if you stay around for the next few days, hopefully I have time to do that. I'll open it up to see what goodies we get in there. Go on, blind. There's so much pile. If you saw the pile next to me, you'd absolutely laugh because I've got all sorts down there. I won't show it all because I want some of it to be a secret. Here we go. Leaf energy. Dunspurs. D D Dancer. I keep getting Dancer, Prancer and all that. Oh, typical, isn't it? Here we go. Reverse Voltorb. And there we go. Bolton V Full Art. This is the Full Art box, this one. Wow. Absolutely amazing to see this card. Actually, I think I need this card. I'm very happy, actually. I think I really do need this card. I went through my uh, Future Strike the other day, actually, and saw that. So there we go. So we got three absolutely stunning pulls. Right. Now we're going to go into the uh, 2022 lot. So brilliant stars we're going to start off with. Charles Arn looks a little bit pale. Maybe he's a little bit embarrassed that his friends look more orange than he does. So let's see what we get in brilliant stars. We've got two stars in here, so it's very good. White and black co-card. So let's do four to the front, four to the back. Let's see if we get another full art. I tell you, if I get another full art, I'm going to laugh. I'm going to find it so funny. And I would recommend everyone get this box. It'll be hilarious. Magma. Here we go. A Morgrem. And a Luxray. A normal Luxray. No hollow. No nothing. There you go. Right. Move on to the next brilliant star. Let's see what else we get. Another white and black co card. Maybe they're all just what. Do you know what? I'm just going to. It might be all white and black co card. Let's go for a Torquil and a Garchomp Hollow, which is very good to see. Oh, one more brilliant stars and some lovely astral radiance. Yeah, another black and white co card. So maybe they're just putting black and white co cards in all of the Pokemon card sets. Oh, no, they're not. I saw something very glittery. What do we get? Ready? And there you go. Rimsicott Rainbow. Ooh. <laughs> That's a great one to see. There's me thinking, are oh, they putting the code cards, the black and white ones in all of these? And all of a sudden, I pull another rainbow. That's uh, two rainbows in two videos. That's not bad going. Wow. So, um, centering. Yeah, it's a little bit too light. But do you know what? That's not bad quality, that. Very happy with that. So, if you are after one of these boxes, like I said earlier on the video, I would recommend, if you haven't pre-ordered one, don't worry, my friend. They will be coming back out again because they are going to pre- Hey, the Radiant Holucha! Very good again to see. They are printing these literally to like the end of Earth, um, which I think, well done to you, Pokemon, because with the uh, celebrations, you didn't print enough of those, and yeah, they're, they're, they're rising price, and they got scalped like anything, so it's unfortunate, but I think you learn by your mistakes. It's just well done to you, Pokemon. You've done a good job. Let's see if we can get everyone some of these UPC Charizards to get these amazing looking cards in the background. So here we go, a Voltorb, a Glammeow, Swinub, Chatot, a Reverse Grant, and a Hisu and Dusidio, which is another great holo card to see. That's a bit of a print line. Oh, look at that print line. Oh, there's me saying how Pokemon have learnt by the mistakes. I eat my own hat. There we go. Right. One more Astral Radiance, and we've got two more Lost Origins. So, white code card, so straight into this. Trainer card, go for a trainer card. No, no trainer card. A Canston Cologne, which you don't want to wear that on your first date. And that's it. Here we go. Two Lost Origin. Now, I'm going to open up this lovely one, and I'm going to say to everyone, thank you so much to everybody that has... You know, commented, liked, and you know, subscribed to the channel. You, what was that one there? Was that white and black? That was a white and black. You guys have been amazing. We've got over 6,000. I cannot believe it. And you guys are really amazing. So thank you so much. Did I get two polywells? I got two polywells in that one. That's a bit of a weird one. Here we go. So a Slugma, Licky Licky Tongue, Growlithe, Reverse Kingdra, and a Chrysella. Very nice. So I would recommend you get this box, but wait, wait for a little bit, wait for it to come out, come out in your country, and that'd be a bit cheaper. 
I will see you in the next video, which we're going to be showcasing the Oxide V Star V Max box, amazing, whatever you want to call it, shoe box. I don't know, it's got so many names that one. I don't know what it's called. But here we go, folks. Let's see if we can pull something amazing. And I will see you in the next video, my friend. Here we go. Flip bug, a reverse Pikachu, and there we go, a Pultiode. But thank you very much. See you again soon, folks. Goodbye.